finally um, the last uh, journey was done in this journey coming over here. It's just like being in train, well we are in train, it's just like buying the boat all over again. We're in train and we're cleaning the boat from top to bottom. We've had guests aboard for a couple of weeks and boats like houses, they just get grubby and they need a bit of maintenance, they need a bit of love and care. And since we've got some time to ourselves, we may as well take the opportunity to scrub everything down. So. But like you say, it was like remembering uh, Time's when... Time's gone past when the surveyor said just... All we needed to get this boat ready was um, bleach and, and some marigold and, gloves. And, and some marigold gloves. Haven't found the marigolds, but certainly using a hell of a, a lot, lot of bleach. bleach. Just lots and lots of laundry, but you know, might as well get it all sorted. I'll tell you one thing that's different about this boat cleaning lark. This time we've got glorious sunshine. When we um, picked up the boat, <laughs> it's minus one with a, with a wind chill of minus eight. This you is the winter. You can't tell, but it really is blowing a gale. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we were so glad that we found out to work the ready heating system. Oh, golly, because we needed it. We did. But no, this is glorious sunshine. When we were cleaning the boat, it was pretty nippy, wasn't it, Bab? Totally. Sky's beginning to mist over. Seagulls certainly don't like it. Is this the start of the storm? We shall have to wait and see. So coffee has just been served. Yeah. My faith in um, weather forecasts, which is pretty low for the best of times. It's been restored. I said yesterday that there's no way it was going to be horrible, but today it is horrible. Uh, just as predicted. Shock horror, but there you go. So um, on days like this, um, I'm glad I'm in a marina. I've got plenty of power. I can get on with work while Beverly gets on with video production. And um, yeah, coffee is served. What more can you ask for? Chocolate. That is true. I would like some chocolate. So get on with it. Aye aye, Skipper. Well, Bev and I are getting ready to go. I've um, got the... Um, I'll be taking us out and I've got I've struck Lottie this time look at that big wide space that I can back her into before I turn just in front of that pea green boat so should be all right for me to get us out of here but Bev and I have a little little love for Troon because this is where we picked up Salty Lass long time ago and it's where we renamed her and Bev and I still love her name so we must have done a reasonable job on that
we're back in Lamlash again. Yeah, and I find it quite interesting that that, that um, Bev's blog, our blog of us arriving in Lamlash is going to be going out tomorrow just as we are in Lamlash planning to go back to Carrot Fergus. So the blogs are a few weeks behind but it's just a lovely evening and it just shows you the difference a day makes. I mean so we had a glorious um, evening in Troon then it was just like horrendous uh, and we were so glad to be in a, a marina and now look at it it's just absolutely stunning and I'm making some um, yeah Bev's making some um, Mexican some chicken. chicken dinner yeah. fried chicken yeah so um, yeah. Best, best get on with that hadn't it yeah you have but it's just glorious Bev <sighs> The nice thing about cruising is the wonderful views that you get and if you don't like the view you can always move your house. I was going on about the view so that means the whole crew is up to look at it. Yeah. Daft is that they are. As we left, we saw religious murals which we think were for St Molaise, the hermit who lived on the island about 1400 years ago. Once out, the sea was very calm with only fluky winds. It was going to be a long motor back to Carrick. We then endured a few hours of constant rain, so we changed into our foul weather gear. We could not see land, but we knew we were getting close when we saw the Larne Ferry. We made it into Belfast Lock on the very last run of the tide, and after that, it was a straight run up past the power station and into Carrick. nautical miles we've done in, um, but this book is um, finally um, the last uh, journey was done in this journey coming over here what is that book you haven't said uh, this book is our log book so um, we got the book brand new when we got salty lads and um, we've just done over 2,000 nautical miles in salty lads and the book is finally come to an end so we've got a new one and we're going to be filling that in we've just bought a, a hardback book um, and we're going to be using that as our log book so 2,000 miles worth oh yeah what was your favorite sale um there's two uh, really nice sales uh, one was um, the first sale after um, we were in Liverpool for a while and we went to Conway and the wind was just right and the sails were just right and it was warm! Can you believe it folks?
and that was a really really nice sale um another really nice sale um that i enjoyed was when we were coming out of um Carnarvon yeah we're coming over Carnarv coming out of Carnarvon now we were hoping to go to going going to Ireland but uh, the wind was in the wrong direction so we actually went down to um, Port Dincline Ooh, Port. You, you, oh I know I know I've been practicing I was gonna say <laughs> and um, we had quite high winds that day but okay so this is our sail plan this is with three reefs in the main. Tiny scrap of Jenny further in than our reefing points. But they're there. It's a video now. Um, we sailed we sailed it all and it was a really cracking sail so those were my good sails and the bad ones oh, chicken rock <laughs> it was definitely... sounds like a bad movie that one it does doesn't it chicken rock Anything like that, which could easily happen. No, it was just the fact. The main thing we learned from Chicken Lot Rock was just how much battering Salty Lass could go through. But it was definitely um, a scary ride, and I can tell you now, I could not have got because normally Beverly and I swap it around. But I wouldn't have been able to put in a anything between Beverly's hands. You'll have to prize this wheel for my cold dead fingers. <laughs> it was that kind of situation. Yeah. Because there was no way I was getting, you know, I was swapping over from Beverly. She was like, oh, this to be is honest, To be honest, I think there's still finger marks in the wheel. <laughs> so that was definitely my scariest, I think. The other one that I didn't really like was, but it was all because we were on a schedule and things like that. We went out of um, Whitehead, Whitehead, Whitehaven, and we were on a schedule and we nearly broached. So I'm not that keen on broaching. <laughs> it wasn't a broach, obviously, but it was nearly a broach. Uh, and then we had did have some nice sailing. Um, in the middle and then it went pear-shaped again so it was two pear shapes at the ends and a real nice in the middle so. whereas my my least favorite one was after chicken rock was the north channel and that day we had 30 knots of wind against a, a, a four knot tide yeah and it has but to be said that, that was one we didn't particularly film because we were too busy hanging on Yeah, again, but having said that, though, somebody said that they nearly saw our keel. We were being lifted up so much. It was a horrible day. It was a horrible day. But since then, uh, we've um, treated the the North Channel with, um, you know, always looked for the best weather and stuff. And I have to be honest, we've motored it mainly. <laughs> Yeah, we tend to come. Definitely <laughs> would rather motor it and it be calm than absolutely horrible. I'd rather be calm than sideways. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the last time we did it, we motored as well. We motor sailed. We motor sailed. That's right. That 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 the sails were up for about an hour, two hours, and then they would be down again. And, and then they go back up, up again. <laughs> But yeah, we motor sailed. So here's looking to many happy thousand miles in the new logbook. Yeah, we've got another 250 nautical miles to go before we've reached 2,500. So um, yeah, we'll hopefully do a... Um, Just have to get on with it. 
we will just got to get it done bev because otherwise it's no yacht master for us yep. well our new uh, log book is completely blank whereas our old log book had title information and um uh, weather information in it so what beverly has done is she's made a, a very super easy uh template and she used to do these all the time for uh, programming so you know it was a, easy for her to do so what we've got um over here is our tidal information so all i've got to do is mark it up and put the little lines in where I've got my lines do it again line 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 so that will be my title information we'll get this sorted Um, what I'll do is I'll put this uh, template on uh, in the resources, <laughs> I'll mark it up and stuff. So um, it's just just a useful thing to have. But our first log is in, Bev. Yay! Yay! First log. <laughs>